welcome to another <coughs> oh dear <laughs> got a frog in my throat welcome to another process video ah oh, it's a rainy day but we're just starting the day there's there's young freddie and we're gonna go for our walk later the rain won't stop us <laughs> we're going to make today continue to make our hearts of love but reading the comments I'm going to make it I'm going to start the process start to finish just so you know how to put them together and the other thing in comments people have been saying they really like my grab and go slow stitch kit that was made for me so I'm going to I've been getting a prototype ready and we'll go we'll try and start to make one today so that's what we're up to I'm just having my first cup of tea of the morning so you might want to get yourself a a nice beverage of your choice and come and join me Let's get closer to the desk so you can you can actually see what's happening. <laughs> oh, little Freddy. <laughs> Oh, so I have been sewing slow stitching this week, no machine stitching. I've been making the purple hearts of love. Because in in our in our stream somebody shared that purple hearts represented Alzheimer's and dementia. So and that was lovely and the, it was wonderful because the, then the chat was flooded by purple emoji hearts of support. Oh, it was lovely. And then the person that was sharing that also in comments said that the purple rep for Alzheimer's and dementia represented the two colours that make purple that um, red and blue. So the blue was a calming stability of blue and the, and the passion and energy of red combined to make the purple. And I just thought that was lovely, really lovely. So that's why I'm concentrating on purple ones this week. And these ones are not going to be abandoned in the tree. They, these ones, let me show you the tree. On my daily walk past the wonderful, wonderful tree. Thank you tree for sheltering. And look what I found, all hung up. It says, thank you. It's beautiful. How lovely. Someone's taken one of the hearts and left a little message. I think I'll take this home to put in my journal. I love that. <laughs> oh. Right, come on then, young Freddy. <coughs> Wasn't that cute? <laughs> Those are the labels that I put on a gift for you, and I loved that. Definitely going to keep that in my in my journal. Ah, oh. <laughs> so these ones are going to go to people who have been struggling themselves or with their family, past or present, with Alzheimer's and dementia, just as a little way to say that I'm standing by them and that I've been keeping them in my heart. 
So literally, yes. Somebody in comments said they want a step by step. So yes, this is basically you get wadding. I've got, this is an old fleece jumper. So cutting that up. And I'm literally, as a base, getting all the little bits of purple that I find along the way. I gathered up. And then you want to cut a back off for it too. I don't have a pattern. I just go, I just go any which way just wonky hearts but you can use just download a heart pattern of the size of your choice just from simple images and print it off maybe i just tend to draw a shape look it's not even it's just yeah wonky but it, the choice is yours and then and then I put a backing on, look at the lovely green and purple sari silk there. So with wrong sides together, I put that on like that and cut round this for the backing. So it's a very simple relaxing thing to do. There we are. And I've been sitting most of the week making these little hearts. <laughs> is my little tray from my niece Katie for Christmas. Isn't it gorgeous? It's a little light and absolutely love it. Thank you, Katie. <laughs> it's very relaxing. Very relaxing indeed. <laughs> Sitting in the lounge mostly. What a lovely ribbon that I found here. Beautiful thin satin. Isn't that gorgeous? So I'll make sure. I think people use these to make flowers. I've seen people do that before. Gorgeous. So that will go inside there and get sewn on. Let's pin that on now. So it's got a little hanger. And then when I finished embellishing this, then I will sew these two together, right sides together, and then just sew this on. So that, that in a nutshell is how I make the hearts of love from scratch. <laughs> Let me show you this week's. So I have little beads, just so it's slow stitching, any stitch goes. Use the stitches you know, make them big and small. I put some buttons on and some beads. Look, I've got my jam pot. Put some beads in. I just thought I couldn't resist having one of these on my desk. They're so cute. <laughs> yes, I've got my little pot of jam here. So I'm really, I'm really been enjoying that jam. And there's the backing. It's got some frayed edges and isn't that just life, frayed edges? <laughs> oh. So that one's ready to go. And I will put this one in my little, I've got here, 
my little kit here that I just, that has been this, it was made for me by Kathy D, who is a quilter, and she filled it. It was with tea bags in, but this has, over the last year, has been in my bag. It's been to hospitals and, oh, all over the place, in the garden, in the country walks. <laughs> I just pile in the project that I'm playing with. I pop that in there. You can see it has the pockets and somebody in comments said to me, can you show us how to make one of these? So, I got two pieces of fabric. <laughs> oh. And let me show you what I did. I'll have to un pin it, deconstruct it so I can show you. I'm making mine boho -y, <laughs> which I think is fun. And let me show you what I've done here. I've got this fabric with cassette tapes. Who remembers cassette tapes? I used to make, listen to the chart show what was number one in the charts and and make a little I had a cassette recorder where you you put a tape in and you you could put record and you rec could record from radio and you pressed a button and made a little tape oh I used to love my tape recorder I remember getting it for Christmas it's a lovely fabric very vintagey style so what I've done I've hemmed along here. For this, I've done hand stitching here. They're not all the same size, the stitches. It's a little bit slow stitchy. But I think, because I'm a beginner sewer, I think on the machine it's just going to look a bit haphazard. So I've done, done that. So I folded those over to make some pockets so there we are it's just folded over this side and over there so that's like a little rectangle and it's hemmed doesn't need to be hemmed this side because i'm putting the the bias tape around that side and then pop that over another pocket and then another one and I am then going to there we are with it with it like this just with this this top one I'm going to stitch down there and stitch down the center so I will have six little pockets there and I found a little piece of felt and I thought if I sew this felt on here, that's going to be great for pins and needles. And for the closure, I have just pinned here and I will sew it later. Two ribbons, a very simple closure because all I'm going to do when I want to pile it with all my little bits and pieces is fold it over like this. And I just wrap and go, put that one the other way, just wrap and go. That's what I do. <laughs> and then tie it up like that. Let's see how we get rid of these frayed edges. <laughs> I've got some vintage bias binding here and I'm simply just putting this all around the edge. So I put the two 
wrong sides together. You might want to double check that before you start sewing. So on the outside, it's like this. And you are going to bias bind all these all around. So with the bias binding, you fold it over. So I'm going to put, pin that like that. can hear Freddie breathing. Freddie's all snuggly. He's he's catching up. He's still sleeping. <laughs> he's had a night's sleep. He's gathering his energy for the walk. <laughs> Catch it like that. And then Fold it over like this and there we are. Catch that seam and I am going to hand stitch this as well. Because I think with my hand stitching, for me because I'm a beginner I have a little bit more control and I will probably tack it down as well before I put my stitches. There we are, like that. And that's going to catch in all those raw edges. Now, if you haven't got your own, your, any bias binding, because once that's gone, it's gone, what you can do is make your own. You might need to get an iron. But what you do is you fold it in half like so. And then where that centre line is, you bring this towards that centre line. I'm finger pressing. And then there's the centre line and you bring this one like this. Down there. It is fun to make your own bias binding. And it, it makes your bias binding so unique. Yes, you do need to iron it if you're, if you're making a big lot. Oh, this is a tiny little bit. Isn't that fab? Bias binding. And I will, I will use that. I might use it just on the end. Wouldn't it be lovely just to have a different colour on the end? Yes, I will do that. Because it brings out the pink in there. What fun. Because it is a boho-y look, so... Yes, that's basically, and I'm I'm being kind to myself. I'm not rushing it. I'm not going to get it finished today. But what I'm going, I will show you next week. But I'm going to fold it up like that and put it in here. And throughout the week, that in my basket and throughout the week I can take this off to Ben's with me or when I've got a quiet moment sitting in the on the sofa in the lounge I can sew that <laughs> well I think that's all very self-explanatory isn't it I let's let's have a little let's do a little bit more stitching together and have a little chat, shall we? Oh, I wanted to show you the couching just before we go up top. <laughs> Let me show you the couching. You may know how to do it, but let me just let me just show you. I first saw so you put the ribbon, look at this beautiful purple floral. So you put the ribbon on and then you just go over it. Let's take the backing away. You go over. Couching is fun. It's a very old technique. In medieval times they used to couch 
gold thread onto their tapestries. And then you come up again through and then you go over the ribbon. Because this is slow stitching, the stitches can be big or small. You might want to come in and couch with some shiny thread as well. Up the other side and then over. Now some of you might know how to do couching but it's always nice to like have that reminder. Oh yes I could do that. <laughs> oh. So up through there and then over the ribbon. There we are and that's pretty much on there now. This is ready to cut another piece of fabric and yeah let's do some slow stitching together shall we? say how big is this I mean there's no set size but let me just this one is it's my old school ruler <laughs> oh, nine by six and my one that I've made a little bit smaller probably because of the size of the, the fabric I had maybe my one is, oh, 10, 10, 10 by four and a half. <laughs> so yeah, anything goes, that gets wrapped up in there. I must say this jam is delicious. That's great. Now can you imagine that I can even go up to Ben's when I get the chance, maybe maybe Thursday or Friday, I'll get the chance to go to Ben's. Oh, that'd be good. We don't need this light on anymore, do we? Blaring down on us. Let's just turn that off. I just put that on when, there you go. <laughs> I'll pop that over there. Oh, that's better. <laughs> Let's get some more tea. I must admit, I'm loving the ritual of having a, a smaller cup at the table because you have to fill it up more and it's quite a, a calming ritual. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> oh, it's just nice to spend this little bit of time together, isn't it? Oh. There. Matthew didn't come in the end because there were train strikes. Can you believe that? Oh, so disappointing. And disappointing for him. But we still managed to have a lovely, a lovely weekend. And Freddie had, Freddie had people round and or did I say he's having his doggy friend come to play for the day? Mummy and Daddy are doing some some filming and they're, they're coming. Little Molly, the end there, is coming to stay. Oh, oh my, needle, my needle threaders are broken. Can you believe that? So... I'm threading needles with my bare eyes again. <laughs> there we are. Let's just, there we are. I managed it. <laughs> I must admit, I really have been enjoying just doing this slow stitching. Let's just make sure we're sat properly. Oh, let me give you a close-up view of Auntie Jennifer's 
beautiful cushion. Isn't it lovely? Look at that. Beautiful. Wonderful stitching and fabrics. I love it. <laughs> Feels so lovely in my back just there. Very relaxing. there oh and marigold you've got a journal too oh how wonderful you're working in your composition book flow here's a glorious close-up of these hyacinths oh, flowering their little hearts out and oh marigolds you've got your journal there and you have flow too can I have a close-up of that flow? Oh, it's a little bird's nest. Oh, the bird's nest, it's made all of fabric. It's got quite a texture to it. Do you mind if I lift it up, Flo? Oh, quite a texture on that bird's nest. You've been um, scavenging all the little bits from the desk, haven't you? Oh, and here's your... Oh, you found a tab. Marigold found a tab and she's made a journal from it. Oh, I love it, Marigold. Is that your first ever journal that you've made? Oh, I love it. Yes, yeah, just finding something that, whether it's slow stitch or gluing or doodling, doing Sudoku, whatever helps us to relax. I know some people are doing diamond painting and colouring and mixed media colouring as well. I'm just couching this ribbon on, it's just a case of running stitches down there. Wow. Let's have a sip of tea. Mm. Absolutely gorgeous. These cups, isn't the colour gorgeous? A lovely teal colour. They're from Paul, Paul Pottery. They're, they're 1960s. I love the, I love that style. It may have been a coffee cup. Coffee cups tend to be smaller than tea cups. Let's Light a candle, shall we? Let's remove things from around it. I'm very mindful when I light the candle. It's a little Freddy. Very relaxed. We'll be off for a walk in that rain soon. <laughs> this candle for those that are struggling today See how brightly the flame glows. <laughs> We're keeping people in our hearts, aren't we? You know people that I don't know, and 
and then people share with us, don't they, in the chats and in the comments, what's going on for them. What do you think of the rain, Freddie? Looking forward to going in the bubbles? <laughs> yes, that's you. <laughs> so what we asked, what else have I got on the desk? I've got my, I've got, these are the painty, painty circles I did just with, with watercolour. And I found those and I've just got my hole punch and I've just been making some, making some circles. I don't know why, but just because I can. <laughs> it just seemed, I don't know, I found myself sitting here after the stream yesterday and I found them and I just thought, oh, I just sat here. Sometimes it's nice to go with the flow, isn't it? Mm. Well, I better put the phone down and I'll probably take my slow stitching off to the lounge later but we will be going for a little walk soon and then I have I do have some adulting errands to do <laughs> sometimes we do don't we so I will say goodbye Freddie's getting himself comfy there Just say goodbye shall we Freddie he understands now, he's getting to understand the rhythm of the videos. He gets to understand the rhythm of the lives, doesn't he? Let's give him a little treat, shall we? I think that's what you're expecting, isn't it? A little treat after the video. You're getting ready, you're getting yourself ready for that. Oh, yes. Oh, your little tail. There you go. little treats these aren't they hasn't even had breakfast yet <laughs> you have it after your walk don't you well it has been lovely to share this time with you <laughs> take care everyone and i will see you see you downstairs i'll see you downstairs in the um in the um in the comments and in other people's chats as well. So take care, everyone. Take good care. Bye from Freddie and myself. Happy <laughs> loony. Oh, yeah. Very relaxed, isn't yeah, it? Me and him don't get on at all. Honestly. <laughs> What's that? Look at that baby boy. <laughs> Having a little pleasure.